Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lab Classic Remastered. This time we'll take a look at the 1995 MG MGF 1.8 IVVC. Yeah, uh, this is the only MG in the game and from what I hear, MGFs are supposed to be quite a good amount of fun. Of course, I wouldn't know because I'm not owning an M MG and uh, good luck finding one because uh, the head gaskets explode quite violently. Anyways, yeah, um, I don't like this car, I'll be honest, I'm, I, I I don't do the MG Rover, mm -mm, not, not not good, so um, yeah, but we'll still try, we'll see how this does. Um, I'm not expecting a lot because mid-engine rear-wheel drive cars uh, haven't been good, especially British ones like the Lotus Elises, which have been um, quite terrible, actually, and the ML2s have actually come to think of it as well, yeah, maybe it is just sort of these lower-end uh, mid-engine rear drive cars don't do good while the high-end ones like the gt90s and nsx gt500s of the world uh do anyways uh this race mod is quite disgusting as well um i, I like the stripes down the side but um the slightly off center mgf on the front bonnet irks me uh, anyways yeah mid-engine rear wheel drive 248 horsepower 990 kilos those statistics are a recipe for disaster but we'll find out. It is going to get six laps of the Motorsports Land track in order to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the Toyota Celica Rally Car with 27.552, the MGF likely to beat that. Now, um, as I mentioned, Lotus Elises, that is sort of where I'm expecting this to end up. We've had two of them. Uh, we've had the standard car, which had a 31.519 with race mod. And we have the Sport 135, that's at a 31.811. Now, Elise's are more powerful than this. Elise's also weigh less than this. And I think that contributes to the Elise's problem because Elise's weigh about 600 kilos, uh, well as this is 990. I don't know how they managed to make uh, this thing weigh 200 odd more kilos than a uh, Lotus Elise, but there you go, MG things. The engine's probably made of lead or something. Although in fairness, actually, these K-Series engines, other than the head gasket issues, uh, aren't bad. As usual with uh, sort of MG Rover, anything that's considered not bad is usually uh, either got some horrendous reliability issues to go on with it or uh, wasn't built by them. Much like the uh, the Rover 200s, 400s, 800s, stuff like that. Um, although the, I think those cars actually have turned out to be a little bit of a basket case. Anyways, yeah. Uh, so far, this is uh, not good. As I mentioned, 250 horsepower, 990 kilos. The power to weight ratio on this thing isn't that good. Um, I'm just trying to think now. MR Spiders like a 32.0. We had the um, GTS MR2, I think that was a 32.174. Ironically, that car shares its lap time with the uh, Mitsubishi Pajero Mini, I believe. So, yeah, maybe that's something the uh, MGF can aspire to beat, potentially. I don't know why it was so slow through. Uh, you might think cutting that corner there uh, is sort of like a key to unlocking lap time but in my experience it really isn't on sort of lower powered stuff like this because you need a decent amount of run up into the final corner and uh, yeah if you do that then you don't get it too much that's better um, come on MGF oh 32.302 finally something a little bit more representative of its pace, although I don't think it's going to get uh, much better than this. By the looks of it. The, I will say the weight is helping this. This is definitely nicer to drive than an Elise. It's slower than an Elise, but it's nicer to drive, uh, which does count for something. Um, my god, this car is slow. Even with like 250 horsepower, it feels like it's got like 190. 32.029, there we go. Finally got some more lap time out of this. That doesn't mean it's quicker than the uh, 
MR Spider just about. Although, if I remember rightly, that MR Spider uh, weighed more than this does. Anyways, yeah. That's, um, to be fair, actually, to drive, it's not bad. It's just not very good, <laughs> if that makes sense. This is a, a very low-end car, I would say, by the game standards. And uh, should be tweet uh, tweeted? Treated as such. 32.029 places this into 198th place. Goes in between the Mitsubishi Mirage Asti and the, the Mugen CRX Pro 2. Uh, that is not great. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty low end stuff. Uh, quicker than the Subaru Plio, quicker than the Unos Roadster, the normal one, which had no race one, like 210 horsepower. As mentioned, quicker than the MR Spider, although that car was terrible. Uh, quicker than Daihatsu Move, it is slower than a Del Sol, um, which is more telling, I think. Uh, slower than the Almera, slower than uh, the 96 Corolla 11. I'm trying to look for anything else that's really comparable to this. It is about 0.2 down on the Elises, and considering all the trouble those cars had, that could have been good for the MGF to capitalise on. It's slower than a Ford Ka. That, that's a... Uh, yeah. So and then the Lotus Alan as well. So uh, a win for the front wheel drive roadsters that everyone loves so much. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you all for very much for watching. Join me next time when I'll be driving something that's hopefully better. Until then, farewell. <laughs>